we will talk about the uh, layout this tab today and most of the thing we have already discussed but uh, it is always good to revise certain thing the first is the margin see these are the gray gray bars you are able to see these are the margin and you can change the margin using this double sided arrow whether it be right whether it be left upper or bottom so this is where you can change the margin now there are certain pre made margins there are certain pre made margins and there are certain your um, you can say modifiable margins so these are the margins which are always uh, available to us by word has provided us narrow moderate wide mirrored office 2003 default custom margins now this custom margin these are all there with you if you just select it will be like that you know but uh, there is always a possibility of custom margins you can give left right the uh, top and bottom margin and this is how it will look if i just change it please have a look here in the preview if i am changing i am able to see how my document is going to be seen see i am increasing decreasing and here i can change i can change it to a whole document that is i want this this uh, particular margin page setup to this whole document or from the point forward that means after that point only this page setup or the margin will apply then we have something called as the portrait and landscape see in the portrait this is the normal a4 size page you have seen or uh, this in this we have the width is smaller and the height is larger if i can say so tell you this is the more precise size the width is 8.5 the height is 11 now what happens here is if i change it to landscape the size is also change that means the normal size of a say 16 is to 9 powerpoint slide is 13.33 that is by 7.5 this is the the size so now these are all in your hand you can change it you can change it and you can view it also here and when which printer you want to print this is also the possibility here you can select the tray and if you want to get hold of the printer options this is also the possibility this these are all the printing possibilities that you want what you want to show what you don't want to show so this is the margin and also as i said that this is the layouts in in a particular layout also i can change the header and footer size if you uh, if you have a header and footer of course and here also you can put the line numbers if i put line number you see what happens here the lines wherever you have pressed and enter or you see wherever we have a paragraph mark then after that you can have a line number so this is the best way to get a line number if you want to line them or if you give want to number them right so this is also always a possibility then uh, in this margin as we were talking about we have these borders so at this point also when you are dealing with uh, a document borders we have seen in design also here also you can give borders say i am trying to give some border some lining some color so i can always give a border here also and i have options again for this that border what is the margin you can change the margin here also because there are so many ways to do the same thing in word this is only because wherever you go you need to have all those functions which are uh, there uh, which are available to you by word for doing certain activity so this is the border has also come i am just changing it means control z so these these are the margin options i hope you will be uh, as i suggested also earlier you must try everything by yourself this is only the idea i am giving whenever you are going to work on word you will be able to understand or you will be able to have something in mind okay i know this this has been told to me but the extensive uh, discussion is not this then we have orientation as we have just seen the landscape version and uh, and the 
the portrait version this is only the way in which you want to put the publish uh, publish uh, content means you want to make it as a book you want to make it as as an atlas book this is up to you so these are the various uh, ways width and height combinations that that is available to us then there is a size also now you want some custom size i want some custom size here say i am saying uh, this one and say see i have again come to the that layout that margin property means i have margin paper layout same as i went for margin i went for orientation so all these possibilities are here also here also i can change the size of the the page so most of the things which which this is doing uh, these three this this three comes under page setup so they are changing the size of the page they are changing the orientation of the page they are changing the content size size of the page right so coming to the column this becomes very important uh, column is uh, sometimes uh, say you want to uh, publish or you are trying to make a say a poster or a research paper you are writing or say uh, some book you are writing and in this uh, it is required that you should have two columns three columns four columns so how to have multiple columns in your word document this is how you get the multiple document so this will split your text into two or more there is no limitation for how many columns you can have you can have multiple columns and you can also choose the width and spacing of your, of your column and use one of these preset formats so these are all the preset formats which are available to you that is i am on two columns so this content has come into two columns since I have just uh, limited text I have written here. Let me go to this one. Remove this. So I have limited uh, content here, but still, if I wish, I can just copy paste and I can show you. Right. See, the next would come in the next column. Now you are interested in three columns. Let us make it three columns. I am interested in more columns. Say I have, I want some five, four column. I can go here. I can have four columns. So these are the columns and all the margins for different columns you can change at any time. See, I am able to change it. This, this is in my hand. This is the number of columns you can add. Now coming to uh, one more aspect is break. So this break does what? This insert or add a break to your current location. To have you uh, have your text pick up again at the next page section or column. What happens here is that you want different section to be given different formatting. So one section, two section, three section, or say you have div divided your document into different sections. So you ought to give a or you have to give you need to give a section break. So there are different breaks. These are the page breaks. Simple page break. That means you come to next line. This is a simple page break, right? And this is a column column page break means the, because we have multiple columns so this column has also come now what i'm trying to say here is the the uh, section break that is you went to six next section so this is a different section this is a different section now you can apply all the all the formatting will be applied here differently and this section differently so you can have different sections say i put my cursor here and i give a another section so i have multiple sections if I can show you, see I have multiple section breaks. This is the section break. This is a section break. So I have all together, this is a section break. This is a column break. So you can add a column break or a section break. Section break means different sections are being broken. Column means different columns are being broken. Means there is a difference between this column and that column. They are not continuous, right? So this is the, this is the break which you can use. Now one more thing, let me just uh, say I must copy this, okay. Now this columns are already there. Now what I want to uh, tell you is file, new, let me open a new one so that I, I can tell you better. So what happens here is right now I have some content. Now there is a hyphenation here, hyphenation means you can put when a word runs out of room, word normally moves it down to the next line. But you don't want to do that, you want a continuous justified uh, 
width to be used. So when you turn on hyphenation, word hyphenate it instead means it will put a dash mark where the the size in which it can fit it will fit and it is not fitting that it is going out of the margin it will put a dash and then the next line will start that means if i highlight the or this one and i say control c and control v here you see the difference okay i'm just saying that i need some hyphenation right and i can just say okay this is this is what i'm talking about so, this is the formatting see this editing has come properly it has no issues but formatting is a is a big word is a is a word which needs format ting also but because this is not fitting on it has all automatically uh, put a hyphen this dash mark so this hyphenation is for that right then you always have this paragraph uh, this, this is different one page setup is over now we are discussing this uh, paragraph we have left right you know you can always change your paragraph this is paragraph i am putting it uh, sending it to the left right all these are okay and then you can before and after point how much width or how much uh, space you want before or before or after your uh, say i'll put it here before or after the paragraph which you can always change right so this we have already seen in the basic uh, basic discussion when we had the main functionalities we discussed so these are all the possibilities of in layout you can go and you can choose specific things for paragraph now this is the alignment we have already seen this alignment and this alignment is simply see there is a special thing that this uh, this is alignment of objects so this change the placement of your selected objects on the page why this is important is this is great for aligning objects to the margin or the edge of the page you can also align them relative to one another so i have uh, only content here but when we have image when we have table when we have various contents here then it becomes important to align them properly in which way you want to align this is these are the possibilities that you can use so these are the possibilities you can also show the uh, grid grid uh, way and then you can put it because always the grid is good to understand and you can always remove the grid whenever you want so this is the alignment so this is the layout tab we have discussed in brief so thank you so much and take care of yourself